YouTube, what's going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson CX7400. If you have this printer or something similar to it and you have a, a print quality issue, certain color isn't printing or overall your print quality just isn't there, this is a method I'm going to go ahead and show to you that you can go ahead and use to get your print quality back up to where it needs to be. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and check out your ink. Now, if you are burning your ink low, that could be what's causing it. And you're really going to want to make sure that you have new ink before you start printing again. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below right now for you to go get some new uh, Epson 69 ink. Make this project contingent upon you going and getting that ink. Now, if you check your ink and it's running low, um, don't try to run it all the way. It's better to change it out even if it has just a little bit to keep your nozzles from going bad. A lot of people think that if they run, you know, the ink low, they just completely use it all up until, you know, it's they get all the usage out of it. But that is could cost you a lot more than what it's going to save you. Make sure to go ahead and go down to the description below so that you can get some new ink. All right, so the next thing you're going to need is some paper towel. So you're going to want to fold this up. Any paper towel will do. And you're going to put it at the bottom of the print head now. All right, so you're going to go ahead and put this paper towel right under here. You're going to slide the print head right over it. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to need, you're going to want to get is a syringe kit. So I'm going to have a, a link in the description as well for this one. Um, this is a syringe kit and this is not the exact kit that's online but um, it's going to be similar to this you're going to have a syringe you're going to have um, some cleaning solution and you're going to also have some fitments that are going to you know help you put you're going to be able to put over the nozzle and it's just the kit is really helpful it has a few other things and it's very inexpensive inexpensive it's very affordable so you're going to want to go ahead and start on this you're going to put this um, put your syringe right over the nozzle all right, right over that, and you're going to go ahead and push that cleaning solution right through. Now, if it's not going through right away, you may want to, you know, warm up the solution. And you can do that, you know, you warm up a, a glass and then you of water, and then you go ahead and put the solution right in there. Leave it for 5 to 10 minutes, maybe longer. Okay, so you're going to want to go over, now we're on magenta. After that, you're going to want to go over yellow here. All right. And the last one is actually going to be the black ink, which usually has the most issues. So you're going to go ahead and push that right through there. You know, add, you know, push as much as you think is needed through and, uh, you know, kind of play it by ear. Um, but you can do this, you know, multiple times. Um, you can use up all the solution. That's what I would do if I were you. And then make sure you have this, you know, a dry towel here that you can get dirty so that you can um, dry up all this ink. Now again, I would wait, if I were you, to go ahead and put the ink back in. I would wait for the new ink so that you can uh, really get the best results with this. You're going to want to take out this um, paper towel. That is how it should look. You know, the dried up ink should have, you know, um, come out onto that paper towel. Alright, so for whatever reason this doesn't work for you, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can uh, get either this one uh, or another model that takes similar ink. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for that. So there's a lot of resources in the description below. I highly recommend that you go down there, check everything out. I also have my website, bestprinterstech.com. Uh, it's a very helpful website that you can use. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. Also make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.